everyone. This is our first video for Teens Cook from the Fort Bend ISD Librarians. My name is Andrea Spina. I'm the librarian from Travis High School. And uh, today we're gonna be making churro mini bites. So uh, if you remember, we did a poll last week for Hispanic Heritage Month that goes from September 15th to October 15th. And you guys picked at most of the schools um, churros as your favorite recipe from the poll that we did. Now churros are hard, so we're not gonna make churros because you don't need to try frying things at home by yourselves if you're not used to cooking. Um, so we're gonna make churro inspired muffins. And so these are churros mini bites and they're from the Tasty Bite blog. So Karen at the Tasty Bite blog posted this and we are gonna try making this recipe today. So I'm excited about these. Um, they're like a little mini churro uh, muffin and they're so they're gonna be a lot easier than regular churros because and they're baked instead of fried. So it's gonna be great. To make these, you're going to need a few things. You're gonna need a um, mini muffin pan. Then you need uh, your measuring cups measuring spoons, a couple of mixing bowls, a whisk, and then a spatula or a wooden spoon. Okay, so the ingredients that you'll need for this are one cup of flour, a fourth of a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, one large egg, a half a cup of milk, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then for the topping, you'll need a half a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and six tablespoons of unsalted butter melted. Okay, so let's get started. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is turn on my oven. So I'm gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Okay, and um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to um, grease our muffin pan. So I have my mini muffin pans here, I have two of these. So I'm just gonna use some spray to uh, spray these. And that's just so that they don't stick to the pan. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna whisk together all the dry ingredients. So we're gonna start with a cup of flour. And I'm just using a knife to level that off. The next thing is a fourth of a cup of sugar. And again, I'm just using a knife to level that off. Okay, the next thing is a teaspoon of baking powder. There's a difference between baking powder and baking soda. This recipe has both, so we're gonna have a teaspoon baking powder. And a half a teaspoon of baking soda. And both of these um, are for the muffins to rise. Okay, so we got our flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, and the next thing is a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And that's our dry ingredients. So we're just gonna stir those together to make sure they're all 
mixed up. And then we're gonna do the same thing for our wet ingredients. So I'm gonna grab another bowl and we're going to whisk together the egg, milk, vegetable oil, and vanilla. So we're gonna start with the egg. And then the milk. This is a half a cup of milk. I use 2%. Doesn't really matter. Probably not skim milk, but you could. That's all you have. And then we're gonna do two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And one teaspoon of vanilla. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm using a Mexican vanilla. Um, it's a huge bottle, so I don't like pouring out of the bottle. I'm just gonna pour out of here, but I'm doing only one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, so we're gonna whisk this together. The main thing here is going to be to make sure that you get your egg um, good and mixed in with everything else so you don't see like yellow streaks of that egg. And then we're just going to mix these two together. So we're going to add the wet to the dry. And then we're just going to stir it. So now we're going to put these in our muffin tins. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in the oven for between 12 to 15 minutes, just depending on how fast they cook, and we'll test them before we take them out. Okay, so while the muffins are in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and get the topping ready. So we're going to use a half a cup of sugar. And this does not have to be precise because we're just rolling the muffins in here. And I'm gonna use a teaspoon of cinnamon. This is a half a teaspoon, so I'm just gonna do this twice. And like I said, it does not have to be precise. Oops. Because we are just rolling it around.
So I'm gonna mix this all together. This is the churro part, the churro mini muffins. So, got all that mixed together and now I'm gonna melt six tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna melt it in the microwave in this glass uh, measuring cup. Um, and you can just use the markings on the side of the butter to cut off exactly six tablespoons. And I'm gonna stick this in the microwave um, for just a few seconds. You don't wanna do it too long. Just, and you can start with a small amount, um, start with maybe, I don't know, 30 seconds, and then see how much is melted, stir it up, and if you need to do it again, you can. Okay, my muffins are done. They cooked for exactly 14 minutes, um, and you can see they're nice golden color. You can always do the toothpick test. Uh, if you stick a toothpick in for baked goods, it should come out clean with no you know, gooey stuff or anything like that, and that means it's done. Um, I'm gonna let these cool until, uh, so that I can pick them up, so that I can dip them in the butter and the sugar. All right, so now I'm ready to put the topping on the muffins. Um, you can just take them out of your tins. If they're a little bit stuck, then you can use the uh, back end of a knife to um, kind of cut around the edge, and then they should come right out. Uh, so, we're gonna dip them in the butter and then roll them around in the cinnamon and sugar. And then you have a cute little churro mini muffin. churro mini muffins. I think they're super cute. Uh, if you decide to make these, please let us know. Take a picture, um, post it in our updates, um, and let us know what you think. I'm excited. I'm excited to eat these. They're super cute.